Okay, we'll go ahead and call our meeting to order. Mr. Stewart, please mark all current members of the committee present. Yes, sir. Okay, thank you. You have before you the minutes of the previous meeting on November 22nd, uh, 27th. Uh, motions in order for those minutes, please. Make a motion to accept the minutes. Second. Second motion. Motion been made and, sec and seconded. All in favor or any correction or addition, put it that way. All right. All of those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. Mr. Stewart, will you state your first request of the evening, please? Yes, sir. Um, Ms. Rachel Davis, who is the agent for the property owner at 700 Dolick Drive, um, there she was requesting dimensional variance and wall sign area. The site's located on Dolick Drive and currently has a building used for sports fitness and therapy, and the properties on either side are vacant, and the property to the north has a parking lot and northeast has an office and warehouse for a general contractor. Um, all the, most of the properties are within the BP1 zone and the one property to the northwest is in the residential uh, 1D zone. BP1 allows a variety of light office, light industrial and office uses, including athletic and recreational facilities. And the comprehensive plan Direction 2030 uh, identifies the surrounding commercial properties for industrial use and to the northwest, the properties identified for residential uses from 4.1 to 7 dwelling units per net acre. She is proposing to increase the wall sign area 248 square feet over what is permitted by ordinance. Section 114.12A1 st states that the maximum wall sign area is two square feet of sign area per one foot of wall length where the sign is to be installed. The front wall of the building is 341 and a half feet in length. The maximum wall both wall sign area is 683 square feet. The current uh, wall sign is 621 square feet in area, only leaving 62 square feet for additional signage. And so the variance is 248 square feet. Okay. Requesting a variance of 248 feet from what is allowed. Uh, Mr. Stewart, is that inclu inclusive of both signs? It is all four si or three signs you see on the, the paperwork. Excuse me? It's all three. All three. Okay, you're talking about the center symbol and the other two, right? Yes. Okay, so in other words, it would include the signage that would be allowed for a total of 350 some feet of millennial feet of that building. Okay, that being said, those of you that are either going to speak for or against this measure, please stand up and raise your right hand, please. No swear to tell truth, nothing but the truth, so help you God. All right, person making the request, please step forward to the podium and state your request and your reason for your request, okay? complimentary tenant, which is Orthosensi, which is a um, physician group that um, we partner with on various uh, operational pieces. And so St. Elizabeth worked together and came up with the floor plan. We occupy about 45, uh, maybe a little more than that, 100 square feet inside of the space. And really, um, there was a lot of synergy with Griffin's operation, our operation, as well as Orthosensi's. One of the benefits that we saw of this was obviously the interstate uh, visibility for signage, et cetera, but also that it's sort of a different modality than it's typical for um, the sports medicine. It's kind of a, um, joining and being at the site of the training and or, um, or you know, lessons for the students. So uh, we have entered into a lease that began on January 1st of this year. And uh, we are operational, I believe. Orthosensi operates out of the space as well, as I mentioned. So we do have two tenants inside there, um, and uh, ourselves and Orthosensi. So we have sports medicine physicians seeing clinic. 
we're respectfully requesting the variance. Obviously, um, I don't know that it, if it was Griffin's intent originally to have uh, uh, or to consider tenancy inside of their facility. So obviously, they've used up the, the lion's share of the available per uh, zoning uh, signage. So really, we feel that the um, the interstate visibility uh, is important to the success of the business there. And uh, again, we respectfully request your uh, permission for a variance on that. If there's any questions, I'm happy to answer them if I can. So this is, <clears throat> let me make sure I understand, this is housed within the Griffin Industries building? Yes, sir. And on all three phases of it? Yes, sir. There is an orthocense in that, orthocense, as you see, they operate inside of there, as well as St. Elizabeth Healthcare. Okay. All right. Anybody else have any questions? All right, anybody else to speak? Thank you. Thank you. All right, you've heard the recommendation that they have a variance of 248 square feet for signage. This would be located in the Griffin Industry Building. It's a partial use of it, a lease that they've entered into. And this would be in order to be able to put a sign that would represent all three phases that will be inside the building, including orthopedics and sports medicine. Is that correct, mister? Yes, sir. Good. All right. With that being said, any discussion? Any questions from any of the panel? Okay, <coughs> if not, then a board, uh, board. Uh, motion's in order, gentlemen. All right, you're making the motion then that we go ahead and approve the variance? Correct. Of 248 feet. And the fact that by granting this variance that it does not and will not affect any of the public health, safety, or welfare of the people uh, and does not alter the character of the general vicinity or the building itself and is not a hazard or a nuisance to the public and will not allow an unre unreasonable circumstance of requirements for the zoning regulations. Okay. That included in the motion, Mr. Court. Motion been made. Is there a second? I'll second that. Okay. Motion. Second by Mr. Molly. Any further discussion? Okay. Roll call vote, Mr. Stewart. <clears throat> Mr. Conley? Yes. Mr. Molly? Yes. Mr. Armbruster? Yes. Mr. Newsom? Yes. Thank you for coming, gentlemen. Okay, Mr. Stewart, you have a second request of the evening? Yes, sir. Second request is from Mr. John Dusing, agent for the property owner at 4400 Dixie Highway, and he's looking for a dimensional variance in pole sign area and a front yard setback distance. The site's located on Dixie Highway near the intersection with Cave Run Drive <coughs> and currently has a funeral, funeral parlor. The properties to the southwest and northwest are currently vacant. The property northeast has a variety store, and the properties to the southeast have a variety of commercial and retail services. The subject property and properties to the northeast and southeast are within the neighborhood commercial zone, and the properties to the northwest and southwest are in the residential two zone. The neighborhood commercial zone allows a variety of commercial retail and service uses, including funeral parlors. The comprehensive plan uh, update, direction 2030, recommends the land use um, for the reference site as well as all the surrounding properties as for commercial uses. The existing pole sign is 76 square feet in area. It was permitted in 19, June 1995. The sign regulations changed in October 2006, making this sign legal non-conforming. The applicant is proposing to, to reuse the existing sign pole. Uh, section 14.6A5 states that no sign shall be located within eight vertical feet or four horizontal feet of overhead electrical or other wires. Section 1412 
B1 states that the maximum pole sign area is 25 square feet and the ca sign cabinet shall be a minimum of five feet from the Dixie Highway right of way. And 14.15 A1A1 states that if any sign is removed and any new sign is erected in its place, a permit shall be obtained the same as if a new sign were erected in, in a new location subject to all the rest of the requirements listed in the ordinance. The applicant is proposing to install the sign cabinet four feet from the Dixie Highway right of way, and the proposed pole sign area cabinet is 48 square feet. So the variance requested is 20, 23 square feet in area and a setback variance of one foot. Okay, with that being stated, there's two issues. One is a setback and the other is the square footage of the sign. Assuming that they're using the existing pole then therefore we would consider both of these at the same time as being one request. That would be fine. Yes, in other words, rather than two separate requests. And basically, with the removal of the existing sign that I think I'm <coughs> correct in saying that you're stating that the new sign is approved for 25 square feet, they're asking for 48 square feet, or an additional, uh, what is it, 23 square feet? Yes, sir. Yeah. 23 square feet to be added to the sign, which basically, if I understand it, would be that the sign would be cut off at the top of the pole and then re-erect a new sign that would then be encompass the 48 square feet if this is approved, correct? Yes, sir. Okay, gentlemen, those of you that are gonna speak for or against, please stand, raise your right hand. All right, swear to tell the truth and nothing but the truth, so we help you God. All right. Whoever's making the request, please spec, you know, come to the podium and state your name and your reason for the request. Hi, my name is Mark Stotman. I'm from Quality Sign Company. I'm filling in tonight for John Deerson. He couldn't make it tonight. Uh, but uh, what we are requesting is exactly what he read. Uh, we want to remove that existing 77 square foot sign head, leave the existing pole, and install the 47 square foot sign on the pole, which would uh, less in the height of the whole thing, so it would be uh, more in the compliance there. And the other uh, thing that we're asking for is because of the, the uh, this existing sign was square and ours is rectangle, we're going to encroach into that uh, setback by one foot. Uh, and if you look at the drawing, we, we took it into consideration already, so we're putting a, a cover over that pole and we're going to offset the sign this, the pole isn't going to go up through the center of the sign. It's going to offset it so we can get it back as far as we can from the right of way. Uh, but we're still going to need a foot to do that. If you look at that drawing, it kind of explains that, or shows that. I guess it doesn't explain it really. See it at the bottom where the pole is? Yes, sir, there's a wider yeah. base there than yes. what's there. So we're offsetting that sign so that we can, it, uh, you know, don't have to approach as much. The edge of the pole would be the farthest point to the, Correct. Farthest point to the highway. Yes, sir. And the rest of it would be going back toward the funeral home itself. Correct, yes. So it would have a base of what, approximately a foot and a half, two feet? Yes. That's one foot wide and, well, it's longer than that. It's two foot six inches. Or three foot. It's three foot right to left, yeah, the, the cover, yeah. the pole cover. Right. And uh, w it w if it would kind of looks odd, we made a drawing with a, a wider pole cover, and it looked kind of odd, so we just we kept it at three feet. Two sided lit up. Correct. Yes, sir. And I assume that's the paint colors that are going to be used on it. It is. Yes. All right. I guess I'm asking, if this is approved, how soon would this be up and running? Well, uh, we still have to, uh, after you approve it, then the city has to approve our permit and then the sign takes about four weeks to manufacture. And, but in the meantime, uh, we want to put a banner, a temporary cover over that existing sign so that they can have some type of advertisement there. Do I have any questions, Mr. Chairman? Yes, sir. All right. Uh, 
<coughs> Thank you. Anybody Thank you. else wish to speak? Okay. All right. You've heard your request and the request for the variance and the size of the sign. Any discussion? All right, gentlemen, a motion's in order. Make a motion to grant the application. I need to get all this now. Yeah, I'm not in your position. Yeah. <coughs> uh, to grant the application of Mr. John Deersing to install the proposed pole sign by increasing the maximum allowable pole sign area to 48 square feet and install the sign cabinet four feet from Dixie Highway right away, <coughs> provided that the cabinet is not closer than four feet horizontally from the overhead electric lines. Granting of this variance will not adversely affect the public health, safety, or welfare, will not alter the essential character of the general vicinity, will not cause hazard or nuisance to the public, and will not allow an unreasonable circumvention of the requirements of the zoning regulation. The motion shall, shall be pursuant to the factual determinations from the evidence provided, including without limitation the staff report, which is hereby determined to be accurate. Okay, you've heard the motion. Is there a second in order? Second. All right. Second by Mr. Collins. Any discussion? Roll call vote, Mr. Tour. Mr. Armbruster? Yes. Mr. Collins? <coughs> yes. Mr. Molly? Yes. Mr. Newsom? Yes. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you, All right. Thank you, Mark. All right. Mr. Stewart, do you have any other comments or discussion for the meeting tonight? <coughs> um, not for any, we have no more cases for the night. Um, I will let you know that Mr. Newhouse was not reappointed to the board, um, but they did reappoint somebody who will be on, on the board at the next meeting. Um, they just did that last week, so there was not enough time to get her uh, situated and, and everything for this meeting, so. Question for you, uh, con um, continued education. Do you have an update on? We will be having a full day, eight hour Somewhere. class here on February 7th in this room. Okay, that's um, February 7th. February 7th, and that will take care of your hours for two years, so. Okay. His website address. If you let me know if you wanna go, I will take care of all the registration and everything. What day is the seventh call? It's a <coughs> Wednesday. So they, they provide lunch, the box lunch. So um, you just still have tables set up where so you can sit and do your notes and stuff and eat and everything will be right here so starting what time eight o'clock probably eight eight nine o'clock something like that <coughs> and i get more details to you i get them out to you so it's uh two weeks from this wednesday yeah and you're providing lunch for this year right so <coughs> my status if i take this class is it going to shift me out for Two years. I think yes, I'm you just. Well. I think I'm in compliance right now. You sure are in compliance. I'm not until I don't feel like it. It's been a little while. Yeah, he'll be the one. Pat? He's the one doing the class. Yes. He is. That's uh, Dave uh, Larson. He's Pike. Dave Pike? Yes. Uh, it would extend me out. Yeah, you, you need your whole new, you, you just started your first part of two years, so. Yeah, you're good for two years from today, or from your appointment, so. Yes. So I, there's no need for me to attend is what you're telling me. No, you have to attend. Oh, okay. This is just starting the beginning of your next two okay. years. Okay. Then you can put my name down. Okay. Yeah. I'll go ahead and do that as well. Welcome to the board. 
So now I should be okay. I did mine last year for two, the, this, last year and this year. Um, as of November, you had no hours, and you had till June of 19, so if you take care of this on... Wait a minute now. As of what now? The la last report I have is from November, and they have zero hours down for you, but your term doesn't end until June of 19. So you got a year and a half. Year and a half to get... So if you take this class, you're done until June of 19, June 2019. Go ahead and put this in the next week. Apparently, but our I'm confused. I thought you said he was good until 2019 already. You said no. He's he f he got he f his I took two eight hours last year, and that ended in June of last year. But that's good for was good for two years. That would, that would have been this last year and this year. No, your the your two years ended in last June. In other words, you saying it's in arrears. Right. I said it was forward. Right. But if I don't have any. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't have Eight any. Hours. I got, what date was that? Makes sense. <laughs> so it goes by your February. Is that what huh? you're saying? 7th of February. Um, because I didn't take, I, I, took the, I took the class or the continuing education in. You um, have five hours from those CDs, DVDs. Yeah. yeah. And you're good until May of 19. The only thing I took the same thing and I'm letting the rears. February the what now? Seventh. 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 That's interesting, isn't it? I think you got all your hours in before June, end of June. That's what it was. For his previous term. For his previous term. I guess that's the way it reads, but I didn't. I, I didn't read it that way. I read it that uh, I got two, I had to cover last year, and another year was good for that, which would have been this year. That's the way I read here. I don't see how you could have been two years in the rear and still been on the committee. No, you, you, were, you just had to get eight hours in within a two-year time period. In a two-year time period. And That's your two-year time period ended in June of last year, your last two-year time period. So he squeaked those eight hours in. He got his hours in before the end of June. So he was took care of that previous two years. All right. Now, now he's in a new two-year period. eight hours every two years? That's what required of him? For the board, yes. I have to have 16. All right. That, uh, that, was my, that February the 7th meeting, that all-day meeting with dinner on the ground, what's that about? What, what the, what's the meeting about? David David Pike uh, is an attorney. Yeah. Uh, he does the, he covers a lot of ground. He'll cover a lot of uh, a lot of stuff for us and then a few others. Is he from well. Lexington or? He's from down southern Kentucky. He's uh, an attorney for uh, for companies that want to build uh, towers. Towers. He's also a musher. Well, he was a musher. Now he's a uh, he's an official in Alaska for the Adirondack. Uh, So are you uh, you on for February the fifth over there, sir? February the uh, seventh. I mean, how am I hung up on the fifth? I don't, I don't know. know. I'm not on the fifth. I'm gonna be here. Seventh. The seventh. You're gonna be here the seventh. I'm gonna be here. I'm gonna be here, and you're good to go. Yeah, I'm clean. You got you got three more three more hours by May of nineteen. And I guess our new member will probably be there too. We're trying to get a hold of her so she can get it out taken care of right off the bat when That'd she's done. That'd be great. I mean, she could swing it. It's, it's so much easier to do it all one day. So if I came on the 7th, then I'm good for my entire term? Is that overkill? Is that eight hours too much? Or do I need to just, you said I only need three more hours. It's, I mean, you can't split it up. I can't do a three-hour class anymore, right? All three hours of continuing education class. I wonder if you could do half of this. Half of this if, if there's yeah. different topics. Stay till lunch. Yeah, there's different times. I'd stay till right after lunch. Hey, I'll, 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 get my lunch. Don't worry hey, about that. I'll sign off on it when you sign off. 
I was trying to look for him. Are you trying to? No, yeah. that's, that's, that's not going to stay. That's a kiss of death. Right <laughs> I already plumbed up the first one, and I didn't mean to leave you uh, smoking. <laughs> that's all right. You did all right. You did fine. If you have over, you have over. I mean, I've done that for my building continue education, too, so. Well, I mean, I don't have eight hours scheduled at a time. I mean, I'd have to work my schedule around, but I mean, it's. If you can't make it. back to it. If you can't make it, then we'll we'll get to three hours some some way before the May of 19. So we may be stringing you up in wet noodle stuff, but you know we'll, we'll figure something. Out. I can take it. I can take it. All right, did you adjourn this meeting officially yet? Not yet. Okay. Anything else, Mr. Stewart? Not at this time, sir. Okay. All right. Motion in order to adjourn. Make that motion. All right. All in favor, say aye. 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 Who seconded it?